lots of consultation with the Ministry of Education and with Minister Lecce. And um, we have looked at the data there. We are concerned in the fact that we had a very successful fall. In spite of um, lots of predictions to the opposite where people said, due to cases and outbreaks, we'd be lucky if we stayed open until Thanksgiving. We stayed open all the way, right through until Christmas in, in class attendance. Why? One is that we didn't go with the pretense that nothing would happen. We went with the pretense that things would happen, that cases would show up at the schools. We added a number of checks and doubts in there. IPAC principles, IPAC training, uh, cohorting, masking, distancing, all the way through and talking to the parents. We added public health nurses uh, to the school system in that. And yes, we did see a lot of cases showing up at the schools. They arrived, they were sent home, they were followed up. We kept the outbreaks in the uh, schools down to a limited amount. There was not a lot of extensive evidence of transmission in the schools, hardly any at all. We had a little bit in Windsor just before Christmas. And uh, we know that's a concern to the medical officer there. And he has made it clear that he's going to keep the schools out of in-class attendance at this time, keep it virtual at least for the next two weeks uh, beyond the 11th of January. So we looked at that and that information there. We know that with our modeling data and different information, we hope to update you on that in the near future. It is uh, looking concerning very much uh, in there. Our community transmission is the highest ever. Uh, at that time, we had hoped to be down. And before we went into Christmas, let's go back and say, in the fall when we opened up the schools, we said, we're doing okay. We're only having two to 300 cases a day in the province. Two to 300 cases a day. That seems like a long time ago. And before Christmas, we said, well, we're struggling. We're having 17, 1800 a day. We were very concerned about that. We need a lockdown to bring it down. And some said, well, I'm not sure it's necessary because it's probably going to come down. It didn't come down. Now we're looking at every day over 3000 and 3500 a day. I'm concerned we may jump up to 4000 that means we have a large amount of community transmission. With that in mind, we have uh, really sat down seriously looking at that. Why? Um, in our province, long-term cares are very important. We put a number of steps in there to protect that. We're looking at our schools, and we feel our schools are necessary and a vital requirement for the development and mental health and other aspects of our children. We listen to the experts from various centers, including the hospital visit children. And we had a consultation on medical officer health, especially in Southern Ontario. They are very strong saying, at this moment, we should not open up in class that is at this time. We should be careful. Can we defer that for another week or two till we look at the data? And can we put other things in place to add further protection around our schools for the high levels of community transmission? We're not talking about 3 or 4% in the community. We're talking at least 7, going up to 20 to 30% in some areas. That means there's people coming to the school, either students or uh, some staff. We're going to have to be very stringent on how we uh, survey that, monitor that, and document that, and making sure all those checks and balances. Because in talking to our medical officer of health, and even the South Ontario, they say the schools are too important to have open and closed and open and closed. That would be very perplexing. Can we delay a week or two in class attendance and then open up because we want to stay open? And we want to stay open on a permanent basis there for the rest of the school year, um, March break um, permitting, of course. And so with that, we are asked and we are going to ask in the Southern Ontario that uh, instead of opening up to in-class on the 11th, and I know this is a tough one, it's tough for everybody. And we know those parents who have worked hard at this and having the virtual learning is not easy. But at the same time, I've had lots of correspondence and I would say, I open up one or leave one that says, don't be crazy, keep the schools closed. Oh, no, it's just, don't be crazy, open up the schools. People are caught between the two. They see the value and need the schools open. Some are desperate to have the schools open for in-class attendance. And some are saying, I'm too worried. I, I probably won't send my children to school. So we want to make sure we put those things in place so that when we do open, all the checks and balances and further things that we're trying to develop right now in the next week and a half, that's why we're deferring in-class.